guys, John here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you my absolute favorite modification that I've done to Big Red. Okay, is it the ARB bull bar with winch? No. Is it the Badland winch? No. Is it the Kent Crokier performance off-road suspension system? Leveling kit up front with the Deaver half packs in the back? No. Is it the airlift bags that I have for when I tow? No. Is it the dual command system? No, not that either. Is it the AFE stage two intake? That one's pretty close because I like the way it whistles. Is it the AFE elbow? No. Is it the 37 1350 R17 Toyo MTs? They're up there. They're probably about the best tire you could get for a full size truck. Make sure when you buy your tires, if you have a 25 or 3500 truck, I would highly encourage you to go with a load range E tire. Oh, is it the Mickey Thompson wheels? Not really. I just got a super great deal. Thanks Summit Racing. You had those on the super discount at your store. I swung by, I snatched them up. Four wheels, roughly $400 out the door. Super special. I like them, they're black. Are those my favorite upgrades? No. Is it the 17,000 pound capacity Kurt heavy duty hitch so I can tow, you know, my dump trailer or my 28 foot trailer? No, it's not. Is it the 30,000 pound Kurt ball? No. Mm, is it the Harbor Freight contractor rack that I bolted on? No, that was probably one of the cheapest upgrades. I think I had a coupon for that one. Is it the big toolbox in the back? No. Is it the fact that I've still got one of the original 37, 1350 R17 tires bolted on a factory wheel so I've got a full size spare? That's a nice to have. Oh man, what could be my favorite thing that I've done to Big Red? Is it the 456 gear so I go 0 to 60 and can tow every bit as much as a truck with 410 gears? Hmm. No, not that either. I know what it is. Guys, it is by far, coming up on 10 years of ownership, the Bully Dog GT Tuner. That's the driving coach mode. So you can run it with boost. Watch your boost gauge or driving coach, which is why I usually run. So, the truck's up at operating temperature. All right, the thing I love about the Bully Dog GT is you've got a series of menus. You know, it's plug and play, pretty straightforward and simple. Um, you can do the gauge setup, diagnostics. Now, diagnostics is where you make your money on this truck. If it throws an error code, guys, I got a ticket one time. I'm a police officer because I had a headlight out. Needless to say, I went through a car wash back before it was lifted and all that cool stuff and it would fit in a car wash. I went through a car wash, the water hit the light bulb just right and caused it to throw a coat. I replaced the headlight bulb with a brand new one and was like, what the heck's going on? Well, they don't tell you, but your headlights on this truck are smart and they're wired to the ECM. So what did it do? It felt a surge or a short, and so it cut off that circuit. Meanwhile, I'm driving around. I don't have any trouble codes or anything. I'd swap out the light bulb. Sure enough, go in there, clear the code, bam, back in business. So just, uh, there's a few little things like that. These trucks are a lot smaller than what people give them credit for. Um, also on this menu, you know, you've got the driving coach settings. you got your performance testing. If you want to do zero to 60 times, we get crazy. And then you got some special functions for how you load and upgrade. Okay, you can uninstall. So the biggest thing is you can update the firmware. I don't think I've updated this since I installed it. For the most part, the truck just runs. As you can see, the screen is bright. It's still in great shape. You turn on the headlights and it goes dark. You turn the headlights off and it goes back to day. So on here, since I tow a lot, what I'm concerned with are your boost pressure, 
okay? That, that'll go get up around, you know, 30, 32 peak with stock, turbo, and AFE 2 intake. Your fuel rail pressure, because you don't want to run this thing out of fuel. That's bad. So it, it fluctuates, as you can see. It's about 6.7 to 7.1 stock. And it'll ramp up to about 20,000. Next thing is my trans temp. So when I'm towing heavy, this trans temp is important. You do not want to overdo it. And it will actually defuel if you start overheating your transmission, as well as your coolant, so for your engine temperature. Right now we're sitting about 183. The trans temp runs about 185-ish, 165 due to the ATS deep pan. But that's important when you're towing heavy. Um, other things I've got set up here, you know, it's telling me my average miles per gallon. It tells me if I'm wasting fuel or not. Um, that, that'll go back and forth when you're actually driving, depending on the load. Uh, your driving efficiency, as you can see right now, I'm idling. I've dropped to a B minus. Your miles per gallon average, this actually changes as you go up and down the road. And your green bar will tell you, you know, are you overly braking, overly accelerating. Uh, if you keep it in the green, you, you tend to get pretty good gas mileage. Now, on the tunes, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I just went to no power. It does run a little bit rougher. When you turn it up, it advances the timing a little bit and the pulse on the injectors, and it adds 50 horsepower. Now, they say performance adds 75. I haven't noticed that much difference between performance and extreme. And then of course extreme. If you pull up the light and somebody pulls up next to you, you know, sometimes you'll be tempted to put into extreme. But the weak link on the 5.9 Cummins and this year is the 48RE. And if you got a stock transmission, this tuner alone will drop a transmission. It'll cause it to slip and everything else. So just know I hardly ever get full throttle with this tune turned up. I hardly get full throttle in this thing, even on towing. This truck will turn these 37 inch tires over if you're not careful. It is a raw amount of power. So the Bully Dog GT is by far the best investment that I've made in my truck. It's lasted me 10 years. I think I paid close to four or $500 for it. It was a serious upfront cost. However, by far, you cannot get more horsepower per dollar than this tuner. Now, they, there are other companies out there, but Bully Dog, for your GT tuner, I just wanted you guys to know, yes, I'm John. I've owned my truck since 2009. I put my tuner on roughly in 2010, 2011, or whenever you guys first came out with it. And this thing has done absolutely phenomenal. It lets me clear codes anytime I've had a clogged injector. I take a little bit of seafoam, put in the injector and I'm good to go if there's a question which tuner you should go with I'll tell you all day every day it's a bully dog GT that tuner has I've had for almost 10 years my 7.3 liter Ford excursion had an outlook tuner by bully dog when you turn that thing to extreme she would keep up with most any sports car on the road. I haven't taken it to the track. I'm not, I'm not taking it to the track, guys. This is my daily driver. Don't break the speed limit. Don't get yourself in trouble. Drive it smart, okay? You can drop the transmission in this truck with this tuner. At 325 horsepower stock, the tuner has another extra 100. So you've got almost 400 plus horsepower by adding the tuner. Not to mention you add the AFE2 so you get more intake air, their elbow, so you get more air into the engine. The great thing about diesel is, I don't know, but they say you can't detonate them unless you just run them too lean. Um, you see all that black smoke, that just means you need more air, more turbos. And these things can get addictive and out crazy. Now, Big Red is my daily go everywhere, do everything truck. I'm not going out there, I'm not drag racing her, I'm not going hardcore mud in her. This truck gets me from point A to point B, no matter where I need to go. If I'm pulling my dump trailer through the dump, out there in the landfill, I don't know how many of y'all have ever been to landfill, it's pretty squishy out there. Um, the Toyo tires, outstanding. I will tell you one thing about Toyo tires, knock on some faux wood here. 
I have never had a Toyo tire go flat on me. I say again, I have never had a Toyo tire go flat on me. These Toyo tires are absolutely awesome. And I stand by them. And you know what? If Toyo wanted to send me a, a set of tires, I would love that. But they're not going to because I've got, you know, a thousand views. But by far, if I can figure out how to get a 40 inch tire and not have to jack my truck way up, if I had some flares like AEV has, the high mark fender flares for my 06 Dodge, I would love that. You know, I would love to stuff a 40 inch tire. The back, there's no doubt in my mind they would fit. It's the uh, rubbing up front. And even the 37s, they rub a little bit, but they're not too excessive. So needless to say, this was going to be a short video. Just to give you guys an introduction overview of Big Red. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys want to see more of. I usually comment back to you. Also, give me a good thumbs up. Share with your friends. And you guys, go out there and start building your dreams.